It's August, 2021. Where's the real estate market really going? Stay tuned and let's talk about it. Welcome to Step Into The Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're going to talk about three factors that reveal where the real estate market is really headed. Let's start with First, my personal opinion. I believe we are moving into a normal seller's market. Now, of course, I do not have a crystal ball and I cannot say for 100% certainty. No one really can. I mean, we didn't predict the pandemic and what a crazy seller's market that would create for us here in the real estate industry. So my opinion, moving into a normal seller's market. Why? Well, it's the old supply and demand predicament still. Nationally, we still do not have enough homes for sale for the number of buyers looking. Locally, we're seeing the inventory of homes go up a bit, but still not enough for the number of buyers out there looking. Myself and many of my realtor peers out there are seeing the same things when it comes to the number of home showings and offers. The volume of showings and offers on homes have gone down. In the peak of the crazy seller's market we just recently experienced, it was normal to get 20, 30 plus offers on a home. And for buyers to write crazy high offers with no contingencies, taking homes as is. Now we are seeing normal amount of offers that we experience in a normal seller's market, two to 10, maybe more, depending on the home with more normal terms in the buyer's offers. Now, here are the three factors that show us where the housing market is today and where it's likely heading tomorrow. Number one, rock bottom mortgage rates to gradually rise. While interest rates are still very low, some experts believe they'll go up later this year. In June, the Mortgage Bankers Association reported that they anticipate rates to climb to 3.5% by the end of 2021, this year, and 4.2% by the end of 2022. What does that mean for you? Have you heard the saying, strike while the iron's hot? <laughs> Number two, home prices are expected to keep climbing. The Home Buyer Institute forecasts indicate home prices will keep climbing throughout 2021 and 2022. But the experts are saying that while they're gonna go up still, prices won't go up as quickly. For us locally, our annual appreciation average sold homes have jumped dramatically from 2020 to 2021. So Tracy's up 26.12%, Livermore up 22.9%, Manteca up 18.89, Dublin 27.17. I could go on. What does that mean for you? If you're a buyer waiting for prices to drop, you might wanna reconsider. While the prices of appreciation should taper off, home prices are still expected to climb. Number three, lack of inventory still constrains our home market. According to the National Association of Realtors, in May, there were 1.23 million homes on the market nationally, which was down 20.6% from the same time last year. What does that mean for you? Well, lack of inventory makes it tougher to find homes for buyers and creates a rise of home prices. As I mentioned locally, we're seeing the volume of homes go up, but still not quite enough for the number of buyers out there looking. So if you're thinking about buying a home, give us a call. We'd love to go over what's happening in our market here and your goals so you can make the best decision for yourself of whether to wait or act while the iron's hot. Strike while the iron's hot. If you're a seller, give us a call. We also would love to go over with you what we do to sell homes at top dollar. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we have a new video out for you.